Hello everybody, today we are playing Hollow Body Demo, a game that I've been anticipating for a while now since I packed it up in Kickstarter. I am very excited to play this demo, I've played like 5 minutes of it because I couldn't help it, but now we're going to start over and play it from the beginning and I'm going to share with you all my thoughts on this game which already looks incredible this the starting menu uh, looks really good this is something that uh, I've really liked from the beginning from this game like the this aesthetics um, the atmosphere it looks amazing uh, something worth saying is that this game is in development and is done only by one person which is very impressive so yeah let's just check out the game Warning, severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning levels That was a of... rhetorical question, Beeb. I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. It's alright, we will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I am unable to process your request. The, the, the root function Beep? termination is protected and will require admi administrator report. Shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> <laughs> A star. Okay, my first impressions. I really like that beginning. Really Japanese, like jumping straight into the action and you know, like a disaster from the very beginning. So that's really good. I really like this kind of beginnings. So yeah, really good. And yeah, this town looks amazing. I can't believe this done it's been done with just uh, by just one person like impressive really impressive it looks beautiful it looks horrifying very atmospheric really good um some things that i'm not enjoying that much the camera is a bit weird to get used to it um because it's constantly uh, being on the back of the plane which it totally works when you are uh, walking about and uh, yeah that's good that's perfect but I personally I like to look around because you know I, I'm a very like um, exploration focused person so I, I it will be nice if I could like move the camera around a little bit just you know it doesn't necessarily need to like turn all the way or like rotate all the way but at least you know just a little bit on the edges and also something I like is see my character from the front 
and right now I can't really do that because the camera keeps going to the back of the player so yeah and I like seeing behind me you know uh, that's just personal preference it's not it's not I'm not saying that it's like bad or anything it's just as I said personal pre preference so yeah let's go explore this town I have a flashlight which I really like that the the light is red so it's very contrasting with the colors from the environment that's really good okay can I interact with oh I could interact something back there let's go by Okay, we can't escape through here. I'm really liking the ambience as well. Really good. Like uh, the sound, of the, I mean. Really immersive. The rain. The, the thunder. Really good atmosphere. I love that. wish I could interact a bit with like the doors or something trying to open them but just like me like I like to uh, be able to interact with every little thing which I know it's not very um, it not, it's not very realistic to develop oh I can't go here okay but yeah I like I had the chance to be able to interact with everything. Just because I'm one of those players that uh, I like exploring. Medical repair spray. Okay, yes, same one. Thank you. Inventory. I love this inventory. It's so good, so well done. It obviously takes from games like Silent Hill and Resident Evil, but I think it's so much better that in those games. It's uh, like very functional, very aesthetic, really good. Can't use that. Not yet. My trusty Kotak. It's old tech, but near impossible for someone to monitor the signal. Hmm. And I really like the eye on the background. It's such a cool detail. Really good. Mm, I need to film myself. Light. An old flint strike lighter. A family heirloom. Family heirloom. Okay. A personal repair spray used to treat open wounds. That's just Yeah, I can run now. Woo. <laughs> yeah, really good. I like that you can walk by default. Most kids don't do that. And I personally like just walking to places instead of just uh, being forced to run. Or just so yeah, having like the chance to run whenever I want. I really like that detail. Contact. Contact with what? Ready? Ooh.
Is this like supposed to be the police? Oh, I didn't press there. I need to skip forward. Bunch of parasites. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Yep. No, I can't go through there. Doesn't seem to be anything. There's some kind of like vines or something growing everywhere, which I guess it will be related to the monster later on. Looks like some kind of alien stuff, which is really cool. <laughs> What's up? That stuff has completely consumed this old car. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's everywhere. Like, this sound has seen better days. <laughs> Nothing there. Really like these details. Really well done. Ooh, what's that? What's that coming from? <laughs> yes, I would like to be able to look up a bit. See my surroundings. Well, maybe I guess that's also... Well, obviously that's intentional. Ooh, the music has stopped. Oh, music is back, so I'm safe. <laughs> A letter from Shasha. Observation report. Okay, can I go around here? Looks like the street was intentionally closed off. But what were they trying to keep out? Hmm. Never mind. Need to get a signal through to tax. Okay. I think I saw an apartment block nearby. That should have roof access. Through the through the buildings. What building? <laughs> Let's go back. What did you check? Looks like the street was intentional. Never mind. I need to get a signal through to tax. I think I saw an apartment block nearby. That should have roof access. Okay. Apartment block. Yes, this way. I haven't been this way.
No weird kids, not or anything here. <laughs> Good. Mm, hello. You okay then? Uh, your town looks so good. Ooh, something here. Harry Tyndale. 2010 oh, so this is like in the near future. Okay. Bloodlust, that's the cause of death. Can I get that? Don't buy me, please. <laughs> Don't buy me, buy me. Anything around here? The key to the parking lot is shut tight. I need to find a way into those apartments anyway. Okay. Can't go there. I guess I have to go to the building. Hmm. Animations there a bit rough, but obviously that's understandable. It's still pre-release day. Mm. There's light inside. Hello. Okay. Time to find a way up to the roof. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> oh, they just disappear. It just says boxes, all boxes, nothing useful. Just junk. A storage box lock with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. Um, I am noticing that sometimes, even though I don't press any button, the text keeps uh, jumping forward. So I guess that's a bug. Or I don't know if like an automatic thing. Um, Anything around here? <laughs> so I noticed like the first one I, I cockroach I kill is fine, but the rest they just disappear. They don't do the splash thing. And I guess there's nothing here. blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Okay, so can't go there yet. Hmm. Electronic lock. Oh, I have a flashlight, right? Yeah. Huh. The lights are a bit different. Hello, Micah. <laughs> really cool design. I like it. And I really like, even though it's, um, it, you can tell it's a low poly asset or low poly character. Yeah, very well done with the textures. The amount of detail is just perfect for this kind of aesthetic. Yeah, I like it very, lot, very much. I can't go there. Locked. Let's get going. Well, I need to go to the roof anyway, right? Yep. 
Hmm. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Ah, I love this. Liminal spaces, my favorite in every kind of game, especially horror games. Oh, this one is up. Oh, this is a cool thing. You can tell which ones are open or closed. By the way, I'm talking here, but I'm actually quite scared at the moment. The atmosphere is actually getting to me. Um, I'm expecting to jump to a monster in a second now. Really love the attention to detail, it's amazing, honestly. Kudos to Nath, the developer, really good job, amazing. And I can, I can see the Silent Hill inspiration, it's really good, I love it. Gross. No monster shit, good, good, good. I don't have any weapons or anything yet. It's filthy, no way I'm sleeping in something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. Okay, nothing here. All good. I'm not missing anything, right? Let's check again. Oh, see, yeah, something there. Ah, nothing useful. Nothing of use. Nothing. Anything on there? Nothing on the trash. Useless junk. Nothing, just disgusting. Nothing there. Hmm. Okay. No monsters, please. <laughs> Hello. Did I get it? <laughs> no. Okay. Hello. Uh, which way are we going? Let's go this way. It's unlocked. I'm actually quite scared right now. I don't want anything jumping on me, please. <laughs> it's trash. Trash. Not going that way. Hmm. Hello. I guess I can go on those ones. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but it was a noise. Um, okay. Hello? this first there's no what <sighs> yeah I don't trust the water either you couldn't pay me to take a shower in this place 
Yeah. I love like she's addressing the oop. See fighting here. <laughs> I love like she's addressing like all the the places disgusting like you know. That's funny. Mm. You okay there? Hi. <laughs> Okay, I killed the hydration, so yeah. She doesn't seem to be having a good time. <laughs> uh, wait, let's go. Hmm, ammo. Oh, I can I can use it now. See, I can't see a menu. Yeah, okay, so I have to go to the menu to see how many bullets I have. Okay, I mean, on, on the pistol. Sick. I hate to think how long it's been since those shit have been washed. Probably a very long time. It's full of all rotten garments. Nothing useful. I really like the camera here on the inside. I think it now it works really well. Because I like being able to see my character from uh, all perspectives. Hmm, hmm, hello? I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. Okay. I can see right... There's something oh. on the table. Okay. <laughs> and all beautiful. Okay. Nobody here, right? <laughs> Let's go. So. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Where should we go next? Let's go to the other side. It was this way? Uh, <laughs> this way? Uh, oh, it's open. Hello. Uh, I hear something. Yes, I want it. Key card. Room key. The room key for Gator House. The number 2.3 is scrawled on the back. Mm hmm. Okay. That's all. really like the use of light it really adds to the atmosphere hmm. Ooh. yes I want that 
Thank you. And yeah, something is here. Document. Let's see. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, I've been here, right? No. Yeah. Contact. What's that, the radio? So I can like channel ghosts with the radio or something like that or like memories. Interesting. Nothing of use. Just useless junk. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's anything here. A kit for a shower right now, but this one smells like death. Yeesh, not pretty nice. Okay, let's go. Still nobody? That door is not saying anything. Okay. Oh, I have the key, right? Fourteen. Have you been here? Oh yes. Two thirteen. What's two thirteen? Yeah. No two. Two three one. A room key for Gator House. Two three. The number two point three is scrawled on the back. Two point three. Okay. Which one is that one? Nothing there. Two point four. Two point two. This is the entrance. Two point three. 
down, look. <laughs> Not taking any chances. Hmm. The floor has collapsed leading to the leading to the room below. <laughs> Jump down. No, not yet. Okay, let's jump down. Hello. Hmm, somebody there. Uh, what's that? Hello. What's that? Oh, the phone. Yeah, let's say please. <laughs> okay. That was interesting, not scary at all. I guess the body is some kind of AI thing? Something? I don't know. A missile. Why is there a missile here? Hello, you okay there? <laughs> uh, please don't come to life. Nothing here. Anybody here? <laughs> Jeez. Can you not do that? Please! <laughs> mm. What? Wait. Are you. Are, is that a ghost? Like, are you reading a ghost signal or something like that? A document added. Nobody here. Gross, the sheets are staying. Ooh. Hmm. A hammer lies embedded into a family portrait. I wonder what happens. Some kind of height? Claw hammer. Okay. Let's check it out. An old claw hammer. Useless as a weapon, but good for breaking stuff. Hmm? Let's break stuff? I 
I love that I still haven't seen any monster yet or anything. I'm, I'm just here waiting. Yeah, it, I, yes, I'm like really scared, honestly. Oh, this doesn't turn a uh, green. Oh, it won't open. So I can't get up. Or oh, do I need to use the key again? I've got no use. No. Okay. Need to go out this way. Or no. The wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind. I may be able to break through with the right tool. Mm hmm. What about the hammer? An old Please? claw hammer. my gun go? Where's an equipment? Okay. Hmm. Some old trash. Hello. What's up? Somebody's no game. <laughs> A small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or. or what? Hello. So they're giving me a lot of ammo. I don't like that. That means <laughs> I'm gonna need it. You couldn't meet you couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. Yup. I wouldn't either. Hmm. Hmm. I can hear like a kid playing ball, maybe, or somebody on the other side of the wall. Hmm. Dorsha. Oh, hello. Cause of death. Myocardial infarction. So he was scared to death. A portable cell battery sits wired into the broken diagnosis device. Take the battery. Yeah, why not? It's locked tight, there's no way to open it. Okay. What do you think we need the battery for? A portable battery. The casing is damaged and leaking battery acid. Right. So that can break through something, I guess. Through a lock or something? can hear the kid play. Hello! You in there? <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, it's the door. It was in the wall. Hmm. 
a good and all bad piece with rustiness and Benador. Yes, I want it. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. I like it, but I don't like it. Hello, I'm already there. Dead. Okay. Because of that. And now. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Hmm. Okay, that. Okay, let's chat about this, this interaction. Really Japanese style that uh, thrash you into action without any sort of be a time to practice. I like that, but uh, maybe a bit too quick. Like when I came out of the cutscene, the monster was kind of already on me so yeah maybe like having a couple of seconds to to be able to react a bit more since it's like the first combat interaction um but yeah that's just personal uh personal point of view I, i'm not saying it was bad or anything i i enjoyed this i'm really scared right now and just saying yeah, maybe I would have liked to have like a couple seconds to react a bit more, that's all. But that's just me. A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October 2025. Okay, well, I guess now monsters are gonna be all around. Oh, I can't, I can't use this. Hmm. Can I open the door with this? <laughs> ah, okay. So if I hold the trigger, then I stomp, and if I do this okay just holding the other trigger and i guess i have like a hidden stamina okay so where do i go now uh, i still need to get the other key which was somewhere i don't remember and yeah <laughs> Just notice like you unequip the weapon when you're going to the menu. 
I can hear some whispers here. Guess from the kid or something? Okay. Something I want to say that I'm really liking is like the game is a demo, it's in, in beta I guess, and it really looks really optimized. I'm recording while I'm playing and yeah like no drop, uh, no frame drops or anything, really really good performance. So that is already fantastic. Oh. Get this log. Not sure where I have to go now. Um, I am in. Uh, should I go down? I guess. Nothing over there. That one is... Have I been here? Yeah. Pile of trash. Nothing here. I keep hearing whispering, and it's so terrifying, honestly. <laughs> well done. Can go through there. A television set. Oh shit! Sure. See, and I use the weapon when I'm looking at stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tectronic BD phone. Those things were so bulky. You couldn't mean me. You couldn't pay me to take a shower in this place. Mm. Yeah. So there was nothing there. Um. Not sure where it had to go. Can't go back to the stairs. Uh, let's go back here. Have I been here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just messaged the developer on this score and he gave me the hint that yes, what I thought is the graduation uh, date. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good with numbers, but let's try to figure out. So. Date of birth is twenty twenty five. So 
I guess it's eight, 18 years later, 2043. No. But <laughs> which graduation? So. All oh, right. So she's pregnant on the graduation. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Right. So she's thirty there. So twenty twenty five plus thirty. That's on the picture minus the four or five so either 2051 20 51 20 52 that is okay 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 I got a key. A long iron key found in the safe of room 13. The tag reads spare gate. Spare gate, okay. Spare gate, <laughs> spare gate. Uh, what's the outdoor spare gate? Mm. Uh, from like the entrance? <laughs> no, 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 Stay away. Stay away. They are hard. Jesus. Jesus. You dead. No, stay away. Stay away. Well, at least he opened the door. <laughs> stay away. Die already. Little shit. Okay, cool. The music has stopped. Mm, hello? So I guess, yep. Yeah. Finally. Let's go. Whoa, that was all. That was really good. That was really good, really scary, really atmospheric. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, if you want to check out the game, uh, you can whistle it. The link is on the description down below. I also uh, post the link to the Discord server and was, as well as the Kickstarter page if you want to read a bit more about 
the the game. Really enjoyed that. Really good. I think this is. I mean, it's really good already. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did because yeah, I had a really good experience and I can't wait to play the full thing. If you want to see another video about my game development journey, you can click here and also you can click on this other video recommended by YouTube. And that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!